Here is the final render of my COD inspired scene. But here is the question, how long do you think it took me? And can you guess which part we made with AI? Let's find it out. In today's tutorial, I will walk you through the entire process of creating a full Call of Duty style environment. Well, start from the scratch in Blender, design step by step, and then integrated some powerful AI generated asset directly from people to speed up your workflow and get higher quality result in less time. Like any environment project, the first step is reference gathering. Since we play a lot of Call of Duty, I already had a mentioned library of war tone, street damage buildings, props, and atmosphere details. I also collected reference images and gameplay screenshot to guide me. Remember, strong reference save hours of guesswork and make your design full authentic. Next comes to the blackout phase. Using a simple plane as the ground, I added a cube of primary building structures, scale them and refine it. I build with the roofs, adjust walk thickness and curve out the space for doors and windows using booleans modifier. Keep everything modular at this stage, make it easier to week later. For assets like doors, windows and COD style character, I turn to AI to help. Now lots of people think AI reflects the artist, but in the reality, here to support us, people AI take care of the repetitive modeling task so we can focus on creativity and storytelling. Here's how it works. First, go to tripo.ai, link in the description. Once you are logged in, you all see the main dashboard. For this project, I upload a COD style reference image and simply hit generate. Within seconds, Tripo give me a clean 3D mesh, fully ready for detailing. That's how I created the COD soldier and even smaller elements like doors, windows and props with applying and built same steps. Tripo Studio also includes a GPT-4 powered feature called Edit with Prompts. This allows to you edit a model just by typing instruction. For example, resizing a helmet or changing the proportions without remodeling. After the mesh, I move on the texture generation. With one click, Tripo produces realistic textures. And for even sharper result, you can enable the SD texture option. Once the base textures were generated, I use the Tripo Magic Brush. This tool lets you directly paint over the model and instantly refine the textures. For example, I made the soldier helmet more metallic and added the scratches for realism. Just by brushing and describe the effect I wanted, it feels like a digital painting but fully AI powered, saving hours of manually texturing. The results are stunning, detailed surface, natural color variation and clean UVs. And if you want animation tip who has auto rig which instantly gives a model a skeleton for posing or animating. Finally, you can export in GLB format or FBX format or OBG format and bring in state into the blender. And if you want even faster access, Tripo also provides a plugin that connects directly with Blender and other major softwares like Unreal Engine. You can download it from the official site and install it and start sending model state from Tripoid into your workflow with just a click. It makes the whole process even smoother, so definitely try it out. Normally creating a character like this will take a days. It's difficult to make uh, the characters, it's very hard. With Tripo, I had everything ready in minutes, so I could focus on environment designing, lighting, story and yes, you can try it free right now. Plus, I will add my invite link and discount code in the description. So you get a bonus credit and subscription savings. Don't miss it. Back in Blender, I focus on texture and material for this scene. I layered dirty walls. Crack pavements, rusted metals and dusty glass to match the COD style reference. Mix shaders help me combine imperfection like stains, grims and weathering. Proper UV adjustment made sure textures align realistically across the building and props.
to bring life into the environment as scatter vegetation grass weeds crops Onion fall fallen leaves using this scatter. Palm trees add larger vegetation in the background to help the build scale and depth. The many COD games and the references is has the palm trees adding props like pipes, wires. Gave the street a sense of history and chaos. Next I work on lighting and atmosphere. I use SDRF for natural lighting and added a volumetric fog to enhance the depth. You can watch many of tutorials in how to add volumetrics in YouTube. A misty mountain image in the background sold the cinematic look. plus the compositing effects I add lens disruption layer
and grading added a polish transforming the raw render into something that feels full from a COD cutscenes. And that's the full process of creating COD inspired environment like callability inspired environment, mixing Blender workflow with AI tools from Prepo. If you enjoy this breakdown, make sure to hit like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more sense. Also, all my Blender project files are available on Gumroad with 50% of discount. If you like it, to explore them in detail. And remember, art is about creativity, not just tool. Prepo AI is here to support your creativity, not replace it. Thank you. Bye-bye.